Well, Chopper 3 now over some breaking news in Evesham Township. Fire crews are on the attack right now. They're working to contain this brush fire as the tri-state deals with a record dry streak. Now, we just got an update from the New Jersey Forest Fire Service. 15 buildings are threatened now by these flames. No evacuations at this point, and all roads are still opened. Crews are in the process of setting up a fire line and burning off fuel to keep the fire from spreading. Fire officials tell us they expect about 41 acres to burn and that residents in the southern part of Eastham Township should expect to smell smoke until they get a soaking rain. Now that comes amid an unprecedented wildfire season in New Jersey. Since September 15th, the state's Forest Fire Service has battled more than more than 350 fires. And during that same time last year, that number was only 25. Vanessa Murdoch explains and explores if there is a connection here to climate change. A chimney of smoke rises from a still smoldering tree, and the crackling of fire can be heard in Livingston, days after the industrial wildfire charred more than 190 acres. Calls about fresh flames in the Garden State don't stop. Our crews are working constantly. They are working hard. According to William Love Jr. with New Jersey Forest Fire Service, fighting fires now takes more money and time. Now it's so dry, the fire is just burning deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper into the organic matter. And sends more smoke airborne. October of 2024 will go into the record books as New Jersey's driest month on record. And those records extend back 130 years. Dr. Dave Robinson says compounding the problem, the driest month on record comes on the heels of the third driest September. By a half an inch. It is the driest two-month period on record. Drought fuels flames of late, but since the 70s, the number of fire weather days that are warm, dry, and windy has increased. Fall warming is contributing to the lengthening of the wildfire season, which is becoming longer and more intense even here in the east. More fire weather days in a warming world, but can we directly link this prolonged historic dry stretch, this drought, to climate change? Sometimes a definitive answer is not so clear. Andrew Kruzkevich with Columbia's Climate School says research is ongoing, asking the questions. To what extent are the patterns evolving and what are the factors for that? He adds understanding the climate change connection is important, especially when facing an unprecedented fall wildfire season due to an historic dry stretch. Well, that was Vanessa Murdoch reporting right now on CBSPhiladelphia.com. You can read up on the restrictions that are in place in New Jersey.